strike, and we'll get into it, is because um, with the writer strike happening and the actor strike, especially happening on top of that too, the news cycle is very slow. And because the news cycle is very slow, everybody now is going back in time and digging up and, and making articles on stuff that happened three months ago mm -hmm. and trying to make it seem like it's something new or put a new spin on it. So, uh, but again, with Rachel Zegler trending for two weeks, do you think anything's going to happen to this woman uh, or is she just, I highly doubt it, obviously, but do you think anything's going to happen from this backlash? Because this backlash is, I would say, almost as bad, if not worse, than Brie Larson level backlash and, and what she experienced. I, I, almost I think she almost. just single-handedly tanked this entire film. And I actually disagree with the idea that, um, you know, it's only because the, the writer's strike is, I, I think it's because the, like, there's been a lot of like uh, uh, media, not hype, but discussion around the film. So like right before she started trending, what you started seeing was like um, people talking about the film. Now that because that's Disney's besides Captain Marvel is Disney's next upcoming like film that isn't a Marvel film or something Star Wars related. So it's like, OK, Little Mermaid passed, Elementals passed. OK, what's Disney's next? So everybody started turning their attention like, OK, what is Disney's next thing that could either save them or sink them even more? Well, the Snow White movie's coming up, right? Mm. Well, does it have a chance to do anything? Well, looking at these old videos, I don't know, these interviews. So people start looking at that, and I think it's going to tank that movie. I think you're going to see, like, Blue Beetle is tanking right now. I think you're going to see it worse than that, me personally. Mm. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, is completely unfair. It's a bunch of toxic oh. white males, white supremacists. Who's Quiet, Franny. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 Rachel Zegler wasn't, isn't going to destroy this movie because this movie was already DOA. All, all the recent live-action mm. Disney remakes like Peter Pan and whatnot, they've all done horribly. This is you know absolutely no different. Now, is she making it worse? Sure, but this movie was going to flop anyway. And, and frankly, I actually think it's more sad that we got to remember – Rachel Zegler, she, she's younger than, than Ryan here. Like, she's 22 years old. She got into Hollywood when she was, like, 17. If anything, they, they infected her really early. And it, that's actually, in my opinion, sad to see that we get these young potential stars and then what happens answer. to them? They become these I, I, absolute – Yeah. It, what was it? No, what, what was that, Coach? I think, I think it, it's all arranged by Disney. It was all arranged. They gave her the script to say all these – really like heinous things about you know snow white and i i you know i i feel they're heinous because it's really not fair to treat such a legendary and iconic and beautiful fairy tale and also a really tasteful and elegant and beautiful kind of movie that they made out of it back in the days in such a way they gave her the script to talk shit about that movie and they also i, I don't think so i think she really I, that's what i was about to say she thinks that she's I, I that like, like that's what you have to say in hollywood i think she's this deranged because she, i mean who, who what was her first movie it was that uh that steven spielberg remake she was 17 years old and this yeah. is you know in her formative years in hollywood this is all she's seen is people acting like this so i think she's doing this of her own accord because she thinks it's the right way to get ahead I Especially with the Tina Carano situation, right? But, but I, I want to give an input on this. I believe it could be both. It could be that because she came in at such a young age, like at 17, maybe she was influenced at some point by the film, the current film industry and the way how things are supposed to operate. And that basically gave rise for her to foster what probably was already there, which is just her inherent narcissism. So I right. truly believe it could be it could be okay, both. Like for sure, she's an egocentrical maniac. I mean, she like yeah. <laughs> she's like a box of a Pandora for sure. But hey, she was hired by Spielberg when she was sixteen. Do you think these ideas were already existing in her head? They gave her, they fed her the stuff, they indoctrinated her, they told her what to say in front of the camera. This was a very very young actress, and you get to play yeah. immediately like big budget movies with legendary directors so they told her exactly how to behave on press conferences what to say on the red carpet i mean i i've seen them work and they also yeah. recorded this material that is now being released and they are releasing it because now they say okay let's uh let's you know let's the the, the grab you know the gravitational pull of attention should be on her so let's let's put her let's put blame her this is perfect mm -hmm. while we are doing our whole thing she's been she's been played I agree that she's been indoctrinated. I just don't agree that it was like, oh, yeah, Disney, let's get her out in front of there and start purposely tearing down the old material. Atreus, have you have you have you seen what Johnny Depp and Ember heard? Have you seen that? Have you understand? Like they have everything. They have all the information about you when you enter 
the A-lister elite, you know, circle in Hollywood. They know everything about you. I agree. I agree. Well, they can play you in any way they, they like, you know, if you're I not agree with you. I agree with you. I just think that I, th I think we have a fundamental uh, uh, difference in thinking when it comes to I believe that the people are at the top. I believe that there's people at the top with agendas and mm. I don't think they always coincide. I also think that Hollywood can be wrong because that we've seen them, not just Hollywood, just people at, at the top in general. I think that a lot of times they can be wrong and not anticipate it. So I agree with you. I do think she was indoctrinated. I just I'm not so sure that it was just Disney. I think it was just the Hollywood machine in general. Mm. In right, that, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. right. I also think it's kind of a mix, though. You, got, you guys got to remember, um, I do. I kind of agree with both of you guys because they they definitely indoctrinated her. They definitely um, fostered that that mindset and that environment is, is the, that that environment exists for that reason, right? They 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 want to yeah. get these actresses and uh, actresses and actors young because one, they're cheap, and two, they can kind of mold yeah. them into into what they want from them, right? But also, too, I, I, she's admitted that she's a hardcore narcissist. Like she is, mm -hmm. she is a woman who is definitely, like, definitely knows what she's doing and is okay with being. I don't want to use the word groomed, but I guess that's really the only word I can use. Groomed by Hollywood to be even worse than she already was. She's fine with it. I, I think she's perfectly. Fine. I think she knows what they want her for. I think she knows that they're going to use her, and she's perfectly cool with it because it's all about her at the end of the day. And if she gets attention for this. It's it's fine. That's that's how I feel about it. But. If you if you look at the pictures, at the red carpet pictures, at the you know the press pictures, at all these Vanity Fair blah 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 interviews, that there she's comfortable. She is fine. She's in her zone. She loves doing that, right? Posing pictures, doing that smirky face. I think she really has a problem in opening up and being on set and playing and being actually an actress, right? And right. yeah, like. Yeah, like you're saying, maybe it's a mix of both. I'm just not sure if Disney, with that power that they have, they would ever admit an actress saying such heinous things about such an iconic character. It was like like a landmark success. We're not just talking about one of the movies Disney shot. This is one of the yeah, pillars yeah. of the foundation of Disney. I don't isn't it the first? first isn't animated it's their first film? Yeah, isn't it not just their first animated feature, but their first yeah. feature length film? Period. Yeah, the, the yeah. very it's first feature length from the recession. Film. Yeah. It's a very and historical you film. Know, and so and you also things are bad when people are asking for having one, one at a time, guys. One at a time. Mm. And, and, and yeah, to coach. think that she could just wildly walk around Hollywood and give this interviews and say all this BS, right? I'm I'm not but, sure. Disney would block but, that. Disney would, you know, water down the story. Disney would take care of the videotapes. Disney would let everything disappear if they really wanted this stuff to be out of the game. Now all of a sudden it's popping up. I think it's a bit of a smoke screen. This is also the company though that puts like trigger warnings on their own streams mm. for classic movies that they created though. Yeah. So I don't think this isn't the same company that was owned by Disney and then had exactly. Roy Disney take over afterwards. And that's what you're seeing with everything that's going on here. People have taken over these companies that don't care about the past and they don't care about making money necessarily anymore. Yeah, anymore it is the kind of that Joker mentality of we're just going to burn the stack of cash because we don't care. Because a lot of the purpose of this is to show you that we are in control, that, that mm -hmm. there is chaos here. We are burning the past. We're destroying it. It's that same Star Wars mentality of, we're going to forget the past. We're going to destroy the past. We don't care about our legacy. It's about pushing the new message and using Disney, the husk of Disney, because at this yeah. point, that's what it is to push our agenda. Because if you can use Disney, which is one of the most powerful, if not the most powrful entertainment company in history, uh, like what, what else is going to stop you in the entertainment space? That, yeah, that's but, how see, that's, but see, that's why I believe. And I, like, again, I know there's conspiracy theories and all this. I know a lot of people believe in like this one entity up top who's controlling everything. I genuinely, genuinely believe that it's just people driven by agendas. And just like you said, a lot of these people have taken over Disney and they have agendas. But I also believe there are people at Disney who are not with their agenda. They just all about making money. That does not necessarily mean that it's good for you or they have your best interest at heart. It's just they want to do it a completely different way. Mm -hmm. if, if it was really just about Oh, we don't care. We, you know, we just want to control everything. There's no way, you know, Disney would be like just burning money like this. 
uh, uh, if there wasn't people at the top trying to fight, like, listen, we want to do it this way. Bob Iger is coming out and throwing Marvel under the bus, pretty much saying, hey, listen, yep. y'all niggas doing too mm-hmm. much. Y'all, y'all make it, y'all using too much money. You're doing too much bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You got other people that are coming out that used to work from them recently saying, listen, I don't work from them because they own that bullshit. But there's people up there trying to fight. So I just think it's just a, a fight up top. And because we live in a society where these young people have come out of these indoctrination camps, aka, AKA college, <clears throat> yep. they, yeah. they, I think they consume a large part of the company now. And I think there's a lot of jostling up top to try to get back control of these companies. There's some companies that are in full control of liberals. There's other countries, I mean, countries, companies that are not. And so that's what I think. That's-